Hello YouTube, it is Elvarl over here. In this video I will show you how you can remove Google Lock from Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. My model it is F711B and currently running on Android 14. Ok, so let me scan using this software so it will read the data. As you can see, it is Android 14 model 711B. So in order for the process to work it should have android 14 or lower because it will not work if your device is currently running on android 15. what we will do we will upgrade from a lower android version android 14 in my case to a higher one which will be android 15. so we need to go to the samfw.com and we need to put a model of the device in my case it is f711b but it will work on all devices that are not running on android 15 but they support android 15. as you can see these are android 15 so we can download any of those but uh, anyway i'm gonna choose one file uh, one android 15 firmware which is not released recently in order to make sure that it will work so i'm going to choose this one it is on security of may i'm going to choose the server to download it using google drive but you can choose any of the servers that this website supports such as browser and uh, the sam fw servers okay so click on the download option over here and this is the file it is about nine gigabytes that we need to download uh, it is a large file you should have uh, fast internet in order to con to to download fast but uh, anyway if you don't have you just need to wait a few let me start the download and we're gonna proceed to the next step okay so the next step uh, i'm gonna create a folder on desktop with a device name that i will need to do the frp f711b frp in this case okay so we're also gonna need a software help viral frp tool and uh, the link is just like it is shown on, on the video tinyurl.com slash alb tool and this will bring you to a google drive file you will hit download and once it is downloaded we're gonna put it on the same folder that we created earlier on the desktop okay so this is a file let me extract it real fast you just you can just drag and drop or choose any other method and after you have done that, the next thing which is important is to download Odin software. Odin software is a software that we will use to upgrade from Android 14 to Android 15. To download, just go to google.com, search download Odin, open the first result, and on the, on the screen here, just click on Odin 3.13.1, and then choose the latest one, which will be 3.14.4. Again, just like we did with the, soft, with the first software, we're going to need to put it on the same folder in order to have everything organized and easy to find. Okay, so once this is done, uh, we will open the Elvire FRP tool. Open the Elvire FRP tool, you have the key inside the folder if it is needed. So it is the third file. And the, the, this software will detect that it's connected to an Android device, Samsung device. And you need to do a factory reset. Doing a factory reset is absolutely crucial step on this process because if you don't do a reset, your device might be stuck in recovery mode and it will ask you to reset the device before starting it. But if you do a reset, that will uh, ruin the process. The device will not be unlocked from Google anymore. Okay, so we're gonna wait now until the firmware is downloaded it will take a few seconds on my side but also i'm gonna speed up the video so you will not have to wait long okay so here it is it is downloaded i'm gonna open it with and uh, extract it on the same folder just like i said before in order to have everything organized i closed by mistake the software we were gonna use the uh, viral frp tool one more time but anyway let me extract it okay so this process also will depend on your computer speed processor it will take a bit longer also but i'm gonna speed up the process so you will not need to wait in order to see the method that it is done to do the frp on this device okay uh, it is already downloaded and we have everything ready we need to open again the alvaro frp tool and this time we're going to use this tool 
to go to download mode without a struggle. So just open it, click download mode, and this will put the phone into download mode automatically. I didn't record the phone because it is a remote job. So I'm doing this for another customer on, remotely using TeamViewer, but the process will not be complicated. What, after you do that, you need to open Odin and click on the BL file and then choose the, the file that starts with the BL, which we downloaded uh, on the first time. And then click on the CP, choose CP file, click on the CSC, choose the CSC file. And the last one we're gonna use is AP. So tap on the AP and choose the file that starts with the AP. So this file, AP file is about 10 gigabytes. So depending on your computer speed, it will take a bit longer to load. The software might go not responding because the software, the, the file is too long, too large, like 10 gigabytes, and it will take one, two, or maybe, maybe longer for the file to load. Anyway, we're gonna wait until the file loads and we're gonna hit start. Once we do start, this will start the flash process on our Samsung device. So now we are upgrading the Android device from Android 14, in our case, to Android 15. So again, let me mention to you that this process will work only if your device is running, running on Android 14 or lower. I have tested this on multiple devices and if you do the process properly, just like I did, everything will work smoothly and your device will get unlocked from Google in a flash. So uh, make sure that you are doing the, the steps uh, like I did and everything will be good. Also use the Odin, which is certified. Don't use any Odin modified because uh, it is important. Otherwise your device will ask for a reset and this will ruin the process. Okay, so I'm gonna speed up the process of this one also and uh, this end we will see the result. If the flash is successful, it means everything is good and the phone should start automatically. And after the phone starts, all you need to do is hit skip Wi-Fi and this will complete the process. So this, this method has been tested on August, but uh, if it doesn't work, stay updated to our YouTube channel because we will keep providing free methods to unlock the, uh, your phone from Google devices and you can have you can see also more tutorials. Okay, so as you can see, it is almost done. This process might take like 10 minutes or so, flashing from Android 14 to Android 15. And as you see over here, it is success. So all you need to do right now is wait for the device to start and it's good to go.